Ankle fractures, Dennis Weber classification. Weber classification is based on the level of the fibular fracture. Fibular fracture that is more proximal indicates an increased risk of syndesmotic disruption and ankle instability. There are three types, type A, type B, and type C. Type A, internal rotation and abduction injury. Fracture of the fibula below the level of the tibial plafond, usually an avulsion injury from spination of the foot. It may be associated with oblique or vertical medial malleolar fracture. Syndesmotic disruption is rare, but it can occur. This fracture resembles the spination adduction injury in leg Hansen classification. Type B Weber classification. It's an oblique or spiral fracture of the fibula near or at the level of the syndesmosis. External rotation injury. It may be an associated injury to the medial structures or the posterior malleolus. It's about 50% syndesmotic injury. By B, it's probably spination external rotation injury in leg Hansen classification. Type C is an abduction injury, fracture of the fibula above the level of the syndesmosis. Syndesmosis disruption always occurs. Associated medial injury in almost all cases. This type C fracture includes the mesonephe fracture, pronation abduction, or pronation external rotation. In general, type C Weber ankle fracture simulate an abduction external rotation injury in leg Hansen classification. This is the summary of Weber classification of ankle fracture and how it is compared to leg Hansen classification. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.